welcome back to the hive everybody today is april 30th 2021 and it's a special day it's the 30th day of april which means there was 30 vlogs i did in the month of april it was a lot i decided i would do one vlog a day to celebrate my birthday on april 25th and we have a vlog on my birthday but we did one vlog a day for the entire month and we're going to talk about those right now. I started off the month of April vlogging uh, my first motorcycle trainer, my teacher, and he was number two in the United States. He was really good and he taught me a lot and I thank him so much. And that rider was an amazing number one, 21, Dangerous Del Ferro. And then they had some kind of a virus scare on the island. It was closed down. They kicked all the tourists out. It was really a big deal. They had military at every point, every checkpoint. It was crazy. So I went over there and did a few vlogs during the month of April and saw what was going on. I went right to the heart of where they said the virus was and there was, there was nothing. So we had a good time. And then finally the police left and nothing was there. So that was the second blog and a couple of blogs I did the island of Brooke. And then I did a few more blogs on Easter weekend. Easter weekend was in April, remember? We went ahead and did a motorcycle ride to Antiki. Uh, went ahead and drove all over. There was a gas station in this little town called Sebaste. I went and got gas and I saw a dead body and I was like, oh my God, there's a mortuary here in the gas station. And it was just a replica body of Jesus. So it looked just like this dead grandma was laying there. That was crazy. That was uh, April. That was Easter month we did that. And we went to Antiki. Welcome to Antiki. the jungle in Navas and there was a long hike I had a tour guide and there was waterfalls it was the middle of the jungle and the mountains it's really beautiful we did a vlog in Navas in the jungle deep in the mountains and it was really nice and then in Malay I climbed the Tuha hill to all the hills and I climbed to the top it was crazy it was up high you see the ocean you see Baraka it's really beautiful gorgeous they had a big heart shaped thing there it was just a really beautiful thing climbed up it was i didn't know it was such a climb i was wearing my sandals and i needed my walking shoes and coming down i almost killed myself coming down the mountain and then i was at a little fishing village called baranga baranga is this little town on the main highway the national highway and if you blink, you're gonna miss Baranga. It's just a little, they catch the fish and then they just throw them right there in the street and they sell them right there. It's a little fishing town. And Baranga has some of the nicest people in the Philippines. I love the people from Baranga. It was a lot of fun and they were cool. There's this really beautiful beach in Baranga called Hinoctan Beach. I think that's how you say it. And I wanted to go there and the guards stopped me and they said, the military, they said, you cannot go there. You have to have a medical certificate. And I'm like, a medical certificate, go to the beach. Oh, and then when I went, it was a holiday. And so I had to wait till like, that was open. And I went and got my medical certificate. We blogged that, you know, I was all excited to go ahead and get in Hignocton with the medical certificate. And I get down to the Hignocton and there's no military there a couple days later. So I go to the gate and they didn't need anything. They said, put your certificate away. We don't need it. And I'm like, ah. So I went to Hignocton. I met a lot of nice people on the beach. There's a big group of family on the beach playing volleyball, super nice people, very friendly. They even fed me lunch and I told them some stories. So we had a good time at Hignocton. And then we visited this little town called Ebahai. There's this big sign that says Ebahai when you go by on the national. And I was there and I went ahead and saw this haunted house. It was really scary. And we went through the cemetery and we saw the big ship. The guys had buried in the ship. 
It's really crazy. And then we went ahead, I went to this park, and this guy wanted money, these two boys, and I said, sorry dude, I don't have money for you, and they were kind of like gonna rob me, and I said, oh yeah, come on, let's get it on, brother. And then they left, little punks, I'm gonna take them out. And then I went to the 7-Eleven and around town, and then I was asking people what makes the Ebahai women so special, and we got some good answers. And in the month of April, we went ahead and vlogged two of my favorite old-time speedway riders, Danny Bazurko Becker and Steve Fast. They were two really great riders in the early days, in the revival of modern-day speedway. They were good. I love those guys. And so I had a great time vlogging Steve Bass and Danny Bazurko Becker. did a blog in Malai and I went down to the municipality there. They had a Catholic church, the basketball courts, all over Malai, the ocean. is typhoon coming at the time. And then I went up to the jungle. They have beautiful rivers in Malai, beautiful forests. It's really gorgeous. We were there. And then I went to the Ita village. And for those of you that do not know what the Ita village is, it's the tribal people, the black skinned people. Man, i never been there, so I rode my motorcycle over there and I was like, is this the Ita Village? And then these nice people, these nice, invited me to their house and we hung out and we talked with the Ita and we just had a really good, they didn't speak very much English, but we had a good time. Right in the middle of April, there was a super typhoon coming and that was crazy. We never have typhoons in April, so I thought this would be a good story. So. Went ahead and got ready for it, made a big blog on the typhoon coming in. It was a massive, it was a super typhoon, it was big. It's coming right towards the Philippines. And then there was this like low pressure there and the typhoon hit that and it went ahead and it veered to the north. So the entire island, the entire country of the Philippines was spared a super typhoon. So thank God above for that. Also, in the month of April, I blogged this uh, motorcycle racer called Steve Lacero. He was the bad boy. Steve wanted to fight me when I was a racer back uh, a few years ago. And I told Steve, like, come on, dude, like, don't mess with me. And I went ahead and did a little dirty riding with Steve Lacero. But Steve was the bad boy. Bad boy, bad boy. What you gonna do when they come for you, bad boy, bad boy? Also, we were in this little town called Nabas area, and there was a funeral procession coming by in the middle of the road with horns and stuff. It was cool. And then we went to the headstone chiseler, and we went there. And then there was a horse with no name. That's a song, a horse with no name. And we met the owner of that, and then just hung out in this little cute city called Nabas. A little town, it's not even a city. It's a fourth rate town, it's not that good. But it's a lot of fun, and I liked it. They didn't talk to anyone, I think. Not that many. And it was fun, and also Nabas has something very special. It has a stop sign from America. We also went to Kalibu looking for a rear tire for my street bike and we're canvassing all these tires. I was, I'm kind of Karipa, which means I wanted the best deal and went ahead and did a blog on that. It was a lot of fun, hung out in the big city of Kalibu and we met a lot of nice people in Kalibu and a lot of people know me in Kalibu so that made it kind of fun and I got a lot of subscribers. Talking about subscribers, I had an amazing month. I reached the 1,000 subscribers on the Brian B channel. So I want to thank you so much for that. And just, it was really great. Lots of people subscribing to the channel. Lots of people enjoying the channel. I don't know why, but they like it. So thank you so much for subscribing, for following. Really appreciate it so much. Met a lot of nice people online and people liked the show. So we hope we continue to do the show for you. and. We really appreciate you so much. 1,000 subscribers, woo! I always like to do motorcycle racing history, and I did a 1968 revival of modern day Speedway. Bring back Speedway to America! <laughs> 
I was doing all these blogs all month long to celebrate my birthday. And my birthday came on April 25th. We had a big party, we had a pizza, we had a big cake. I don't have anyone to share that with, so I was sharing it with you. And I had the, one of the biggest viral birthday parties ever in my life. I didn't have anyone with me on my birthday, so I shared it with you. After our birthday party, the YouTube Partnership Program went ahead and accepted me to be monetized in the YouTube system. So that was a birthday present from YouTube. I worked so hard in the month of April making all these shows. And then to crown it off, I get a birthday present from YouTube saying, you are monetized. And that was a dream of mine to do. And it was a goal. And it's all because of you. So I just want to thank you so much for that. And then YouTube had to accept me too. I couldn't just go there. They had to see my videos and they had to like them. And they had to say, you know what? We're going to advertise on your work. That was just an amazing birthday present. I was stoked. I was so happy. So please, if you're on my channel and they run commercials, watch them because that's how YouTube pays is if you watch the commercials. So I appreciate you and I appreciate you watching the commercials. Go use the restroom. Leave the, go do whatever, but watch the commercials. So thank you so much for that. And YouTube went ahead and accepted me and that was just the most amazing birthday present. I had a wonderful month of April. We also blogged a uh, current day motorcycle rider, one of the greatest riders of today, riding currently right now. He's a 10 time AMA Speedway champion. He is really good and his name is Billy the Kid Gennaro. And Billy's a good rider. I was so happy doing Billy's thing. I was excited. I was wondering if they're gonna ride me. He's like, Brian, calm down a little bit. Also, a couple of days ago, we went to Barakai. It was a sunny day, very beautiful. We went there and had lunch at McDonald's. It's open, McDonald's. And then we went ahead and we went to the sign there, the Barakai. We went looking for coconuts. There was no coconut salesman. And then the coconut salesman came. We went swimming in the ocean. It was beautiful. The water was green, blue, it was gorgeous. Went swimming in the ocean with you. And then something really fun we did. We went searching for the sea snakes, the poisonous, the dangerous sea snakes. Just yesterday on April 29th, we did the blog on the rocket, Rick Woods. Rick Woods, he's good. And he was an early day superstar, famous. Lots of people liked Rick Woods. He was a great rider. He won three United States championships in five years. He was just the rocket. This guy was rocking. And Rick Woods was famous. Everybody liked Rick Woods. He inspired so many riders, including me. He was an inspiration on most of our lives. He was just a great guy. And rest in peace, Rick Woods. Also, today is April 30th, and that's the last day of April, and that means we did 30 vlogs in this month. That is just fantastic. It was exhausting. I was a little tired at times. I said, keep going, keep going. I work so hard and try to make good shows for you. It's not easy, but I had a good time this month, and it was a lot of fun, and I accomplished my goal, and then I had all these other blessings, too. Also last week, the owner of the largest media company in the country of Poland, he went ahead and contacted me and he said he likes the shows and wants me to do uh, three minute shows sending to Poland and all over Europe. He said he wants to make this go big. He likes the shows. He was watching the Larry Huffman live stream show and he said, I like this guy. So we went ahead, we're in negotiations to do shows, American Speedway shows all over Europe. That's gonna be fun. Just a short shows, three minute weekly shows. But they like me and they said, we're gonna make you big time in Europe. So only time will tell. The month of April was really fantastic. We did 30 shows in 30 days. It was exhausting, but it was a lot of fun being with you. So many good things happened this month. I just went for it. I did it for fun. And I appreciate you joining us here in the hive and being outside. We were everywhere this month. 
So we just had a good time with you, and I hope you enjoyed it. I want to personally thank you for hanging out with us today, and all month, it was a good time, and we had just did so much stuff. And it's just because of you, I want to thank you. The channel has grown so much. We got monetized. YouTube likes it. The people from Poland like it. Lots of people like the show, and I'm just humbled, and I'm grateful to you for that. And I just want to say thank you so much.